In front of me today, I have the Optima ZU500T ST-W projector. What does that mean? This is Optima's laser short throw projector, 5,000 lumens, okay, I did say laser, uh, and short throw. So this is something a lot of people have been looking for in larger venue environments, maybe corporate trade shows, maybe it's a, uh, you know, a university, something like that where you need a lot of light for a lot of people but you want to get the brightest image you have maybe from the shortest distance possible. Um, and you want to avoid paying higher prices where you don't have to. So that's where the short throw comes in. I know it kind of sounds like I'm rambling, but I'm not. So this is 5,000 lumens. When we talk about 5,000 lumens as a short throw projector, you're probably gonna be looking at something that looks a lot brighter than 5,000 lumens from a standard projector, simply because one, you're way closer to the actual image that's being uh, projected, so it's gonna be brighter, uh, and two, it's laser. So laser inherently creates a brighter image for a more consistent, longer period of time. Lamp life, uh, lamp-based projectors, they're going to dim very quickly, um, and that 5,000 lumens is gonna turn into 3,000, and down to a thousand before you know it. This, you're looking at probably five years, 20,000 hours minimum usually, uh, before you start to see really any degradation in the light uh, output from this projector. So that's benefit number one. The second benefit to this projector is that it's stackable. Um, so if you are you know, needing to fill up a giant screen and it's really bright or you have a lot of incoming ambient light that you can't control, put another one on top of this thing and now you've got 10,000 of lumen, 10,000 lumens shooting at the same screen in a very small form factor. Uh, and you can keep this stacking going on and on. Uh, we'll take a look at the inputs on the back and how all that stuff works. But this is a great solution for churches. It's a great solution for universities. Uh, it's a great solution for uh, corporate events or hotels where you're going to be um, having a lot of people in a large space and you may or may not have control over that lighting. So with that being said, let's talk about what this thing is. I mentioned it was 5,000 lumens. It's WUXGA. So that's 1920 by 1200. So whatever presentations you have on your laptop, they're gonna come across just like they do on your laptop. You're not gonna be sliced off or cut off or anything like that. Video is gonna come across really high quality. It's gonna look fantastic. Text and of course the image quality is gonna be beautiful in the colors. This is a DLP unit. It has a four segment color wheel, okay? So um, the colors are gonna be really nice and you'll see it in action in just a few seconds. Uh, but outside of that, it's got a really nice contrast ratio, 300,000 to one. So one of the other features of this projector uh, that is really cool is it has four corner keystone projection. Now, you know, we're not super big fans of keystone correction, but there are times when it is needed. And one of those times may be if you have uh, this projector maybe in a, a museum or something where you have it in a unique situation and it's not straight on the screen um, you know it's tilted sideways because you can do that because it's laser you can tilt it upside down and backwards um, but then when you do that sometimes you weird, wind up with weird trapezoid angles on the wall uh, with a four corner correction you can just basically just grab that corner move it to where you want and select it and select and select and then you have a perfectly rectangular square image whatever you want um, so that's a really nice benefit to that that a lot of projectors do not have built in uh, so that's fantastic uh, as far as the lens i did mention that it is a short throw lens it's a 0.79 to 1 so we'll take a look at what kind of image you get from how far away, but obviously it kind of works the same way as a regular projector. The farther back you go, the bigger image you have. So, hopefully you guys are all sitting upside down so you can read this. Uh, I'm only kidding, um, but obviously every, all the inputs are upside down right now because it's typically mounted. So just bear with me and I'll talk you through this. So from left to right, uh, we have a microphone input. So if you're gonna be doing presentations, that's great. It's a 3.5. We also have uh, two 3.5s out. So for your audio, so if you want to send that to a sound system, maybe in a conference room or a, a big uh, space, you have your VGA out, uh, so you can mirror that to another screen or another display. You have your VGA in. Uh, you have your RS-232 controls, so this can control the systems from a central point. It connects with Crestron, RoomView, so uh, it can control up to 250 devices. So if you have that running in your organization, you're good there. You have two HDMI inputs one of uh, which is MHL powered. So if you have a streaming device or some kind of um, device that requires uh, you know, uh, input uh, from a, a power source, the MHL should be able to assist you there. You have your service port, 
you have your wired remote. Um, if you have one of those, you have your 12 volt out trigger. So that's for your screens. And you have your 3D sync if you use that in a classroom environment. And then you have your, uh, it looks like a, oh, that's your USB power. And then you have HD base T built in, which is great. Um, you will need a uh, transmitter, this will be the receiver. And you have your RJ45 control. So this thing is really actually pretty packed. Um, and like we said, you can uh, stack these together uh, from a single signal and uh, get more juice to the unit. Uh, from the top of the unit, we have uh, easy access to all your menu items. Um, so you have your menu, your power, your sources, um, and then all your menu controls, plus uh, easy indicators to let you know if there's an issue with the light source or um, heating. So, and this unit also has two 10 watt speakers built into it. So depending on the use case, that may be perfectly suited for your environment, or you may just want to run audio out. So it's a very nice little unit. And then from the very front, it's really not that heavy. It's only around 26 pounds. Uh, you have your IR input, and then here's your fine control for your lens shift. So it does have 13% uh, vertical lens shift, and I think 6 or 7% uh, horizontal lens shift right around there. You can look at the spec sheet. And then you have your fine focus control for the short throw uh, lens itself. So let's take a look at this thing in action. 